So I had my ketamine infusion this morning. Um, I think it's like, I don't actually know what time it is. I'm going to see if I can find that on something. Uh, it is 4 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, so also known as um, 1600 or, uh, like if this, if I were in Eastern time, it would be 5 PM. So anyway, um, my appointment was at 10 AM Eastern standard time or central standard time. And the reason that I keep trying to keep straight central standard and Eastern standard is, um, the Highland House, which is where I am right now, um, and where Mike and I come when we have app medical appointments for me, um, that's in Central Time, but Family House, uh, which is where his parents are, and where kind of home base has become, uh, that's in, East in the Eastern Time Zone, because it is, uh, just electricity side of, uh, Amish country. So, um, so yeah, that gets a little bit confusing. Anyway, um, I had a, I had a good experience with the ketamine. Um, I was scared bloody shitless. Like I was just terrified. And by the time that, um, I got called in cause it, it, I don't, I don't think they actually called me in late. Um, they ask you to arrive half an hour beforehand, and then, um, because I was in the second round of infusions, um, it was one of those situations where, uh, you know, you have to wait because the, they have someone else in the room, so, uh, I'm like, I'm waiting, I'm, I'm sat there waiting, and so I was just getting more and more nervous, and you can't have anything to eat eat or drink so it's not like I could have like something to calm down or you know like sitting there with like um like a tea or something would have calm helped calm me down um but they uh they you know so I I told the the so this is a teaching hospital that I go to and so there's not only my doctor and his colleagues, but then they have fellows who are like, they're past medical school and they're, um, working on their specific, like specialty internships. So like, this isn't when you see medical shows on telly and like, there's the junior doctors who kind of work under them. Um, that's usually people who are doing, uh, their various departmental things you work in, I think it's three different departments generally. Um, but this is a fellowship where usually you're, you're actually interested in the area, like specifically. So anyway, so the fellow who was working with me, um, he was just awesome. And, uh, I was like, you know, I'm terrified. And then of course, you know, Mike couldn't actually stay beyond, uh, pushing my chair into the room and giving me a hug and stuff. Um, and so, uh, so, uh, you know, we were just like talking about, it and he's like, yeah, there's really nothing to be worried about because you're going to be asleep. He's like, some people, you know, ketamine has been, um, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to word this to make it not get banned, not have my, um, my video end up, uh, kicked off YouTube. It, ketamine, uh, is sometimes used by people not medicinally. And so he's like, so some people have a good experience and some people have bad experience. He's like, we just mitigate that. We just take the experience off the table. Uh, you get a med to make you very, very sleepy, basically unconscious. You get a med to make you very calm and you get meds to make you, uh, 
not get nauseous, not get sick. And so I was like, right on. Okay. <laughs> Cause like my, my biggest concern was just that I would have stomach issues. And, um, cause I already have stomach issues all the time. And I was like, that's one thing that I'd heard, like, um, from other people who've had this done for CRPS is like, oh, but it can, it can make your stomach really bad. So anyway, um, got my IV, um, and like, there's not, I mean, I've had so many IVs and sticks and various things. I only have one arm they can do it in since I have CRPS in my right. And, uh, so, but he was like, he, he was able to get it first time. And, uh, so anyway, they ran it apparently, like I kept having dreams and dreams. It was so weird. I kept thinking I had woken up, but apparently I hadn't. And then I, I don't know how many times I actually said, well, I'm awake. Cause like every time I would think that I woke up, I would say like, well, I'm awake, but he would be in the exact same position. So I think that I actually only said it a couple of times and then the rest were in my head. I also had a dream where I think that someone that I know who has been deceased for a couple of years, I think that I saw that person in a, just like he showed up in a dream. Um, even though he didn't like the person, the dream was like a character from a show who has passed, like not the actor passed, but the character did anyway. Um, so yeah, so I had some funky dreams, only remember little bits. Um, I, uh, I was so thirsty. Oh my goodness. Was I thirsty when I woke up? We went on a pilgrimage through the hospital after they let me go so that I could get some apple juice because, oh my goodness, was I dying of thirst. Um, so yeah, uh, it was, but it was like a very positive thing. My pain level, uh, when I first woke up, my pain level was like almost nothing. Like I was like, it's a three, but it's not even a three. And then I woke up all the way. And then I was like, well, that was my kneecap. Uh, no, that's a three because I can feel my kneecap for sure. And it's not happy. Um, but I 100% would say like, this is the most relief I've had in years, like literal years. Like this is right up there with had an epidural in my back with like fentanyl pumping into my back and I had this kind of relief. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying not to do much cause I <laughs> don't want it to come back. Like, um, I don't have another infusion scheduled until 20 December. Um, so that would be, that'll be like the best fucking Christmas present ever, dude. I get to like spend Christmas not in pain. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully cross fingers. Hopefully. Um, that would just be, that would just be bloody amazing. Like, let me have that please. Um, I will enjoy this for as long as it lasts. I mean, I know like he told me like, as pain comes back, make sure to make notes of it when it does, what numbers it gets to, when it gets to those numbers, that kind of stuff. I need to keep track of that stuff. I know. And I will, I totally will. Um, but right now I'm just going to enjoy the fact that it's very low. Um, I think we're going to go back to kind of home base of family house tonight. Um, and it's probably going to be another day or so before I go back to helping my brother-in-law. Uh, number one, I'm not even supposed to be on my own uh, until 24 hours after anesthesia, which, um, you know, the propofol technically is. Uh, but also like, I just, I don't want to risk like running through this quickly. I want to enjoy the time of not being miserable and I have this coming Friday, I have to come back into town 100% doing the ketamine was the right thing to do. 
uh, even if, even if it doesn't last a long time, even if, um, it doesn't end up being my long-term solution, 100% this experience is amazing. Um, but I'm hoping that it'll last and I'm hoping that we can, uh, we can, like, I would love to have my brain completely reset the, that, you know, parasympathetic nervous system and be able to go back to having remission. But I mean, like, I know how unlikely that is, but I also know how unlikely it was for me to wake up with that much relief. So, uh, anything's possible.